In the U.S. today, the middle class is collapsing. By the middle class, I mean the people who are at the center of the economy, that buy the most goods and services, and generate jobs for everyone. I mean factory workers, teachers, plumbers, accountants, engineers, secretaries, janitors, cashiers, construction workers. I mean the people that make America, America. And in our nation today, the middle class is slowly but surely degrading into a shell of what it once was. As I've previously mentioned on PTD, America from the 40s onto the early 80s had a golden age with a robust and strong middle class with an advanced transportation and infrastructure system, the number one educational system, and the number one healthcare system. And when people worked a full-time job and put in the blood, the sweat, and the tears to provide for their employers, they got paid for it. That was America, and that is what made us the number one nation in the world. Today, people, that title is no longer in our hands. It is in the hands of European nations that provide for the people, that make sure that no one in their country goes hungry and without care, and no one goes without a proper education. And if they put in the work, and they put in the hours, they can succeed. However, the reason us liberals are running our mouths about this issue of income inequality and the collapse of the middle class, etc., etc., is because the crisis in this country exists. We live in a nation today where the average CEO makes 300 times the average wage of its employees, and where the production from the workforce has doubled since the 1970s. But the average wage since then, adjusted for inflation, it's fallen. What we are seeing is that the American people are working harder than ever to make a buck and provide for their families, put food on the table, and make sure that their families live in comfort. But instead, they're receiving absolutely no return. We live in a country today with the number one economy in the world. The problem is that the return of having a great economy is only going towards one group, the rich. One family in this country, the Walton family, which resides over the number one retailer in the world, Walmart. These six people, together, have more income than the bottom 40% of all earners in this country. That is more than 125 million people. And they have less money collectively than six businessmen. Today in America, we have a financial system that bets and gambles with our money and destroys our economy with regularity and an energy system that has pushed our planet into a catastrophe. All this did not come by accident. It came with deregulation. These companies have effectively bought off our politicians. A recent Princeton University study found that the interests of regular people, the middle class, are rarely represented by our politicians. But instead, what is represented are the interests of the rich. Do you all realize what I've just described to you is an oligarchy, where a group of a few people rule a nation? The rich are now able to pump billions of dollars into our elections and directly influence the actions of our politicians. That is why 10 of the largest companies in this country, such as General Electric, ExxonMobil, or Verizon Wireless, they're able to pay negative tax rates, which means the government gives them money. This is why billionaires in this country have made their taxes fall to insanely low rates. All the while, the middle class, people such as you all, now have to pay 25, 30, even 35 percent of your hard-earned money to the government. During the golden age of America, the rich paid 43% of their money in taxes. However, today, the rich only pay 12%. All the wealth, the rich have made sure that all the wealth in this country goes to them, and that they and their large companies pay nothing in taxes. So they keep getting richer, and the working class people keep getting poorer. This is not the end though, folks. The rich in this country have managed to create these terrible trade policies with countries in which their workers will slave all day for pennies. This is why Made in China sticker seems to be on every single product today. Because the workers that created that good were not American, and they worked for literally pennies for insanely long hours to put that product in your hands. All the while, the jobs in our neighborhoods have suddenly left, and our people now become unemployed and in poverty. 
but they are confused. See, they follow the code. Work hard in school. Stay out of trouble. And you'll be successful. The problem is that that code no longer works in America. However, for every problem, there's a solution. We must raise the tax rates on the companies and the rich and make them pay their fair share. The rich in this country did not become rich by themselves. They used our roads to transport their goods and carry out their services. Their workers used our schools to have enough experience to, create, to carry out your jobs fully for your company. Our police forces keep your factory and your facilities safe in your neighborhoods. The rich are part of a larger America, and in return, all we ask is that you give money back to the society that got you and your family where you are today. We must bring jobs back to our country by making trade policies that limit the amount of jobs being shipped overseas by our companies. We must also increase spending on welfare benefits to bring the poor of our country out of poverty. We must raise the minimum wage in this country to levels where anyone who works a full-time job can live in comfort without worrying where the next meal will come from. And most importantly, get the richest money out of politics that has allowed them to make our policymakers rig the game in their favor. And with all the money that will come to our government, by helping out our middle class, we must rebuild our crumbling infrastructure that is ranked 16th in the world in quality. And by doing this, create 13 million decent paying jobs. We must educate our youth by giving them a quality education, K through 12, and beyond, so that anyone who wants to pursue higher education can do so for free, so that they are prepared to compete with other countries that will be just as prepared as they are to push forward human society as a whole. And we must make sure that any person in this country can walk into a hospital or doctor's office and receive the care that they need without worrying about the costs that will come out of their pocket. People, the middle class in this country is in a terrible state. But we can, and we must, fix it. And now, you all can join the fight to do so. Thank you all for listening to Progressive Talk Daily, and have a fantastic day.